What's cracking, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Honda Recap. Thank you all for coming back, and for you new guys, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 o'clock when this thing airs. Like I said, if this is your first episode, I'm trying to go over everything that happens in the Honda universe here on YouTube and sometimes on Instagram and bring it in a weekly episode. So if you have school, because I think that's starting out soon, family or work, you can't sit there and watch YouTube all day like you would on the weekends or, you know, summer vacation or whatever it is you might be doing. So I want to sit down, hang out with you, start a conversation, hang out with the community and kind of go over what's gone on in the past week so you can catch up. And you know what? We can build our own little community ourselves here on the channel, Honda Vlogs. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, and like I said, hit that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 o'clock when this thing airs. Right off the bat, I want to say a quick thank you out there to Finally Churro. He sent me out a cool shirt right here from his new brand that I know he started. Here it is. Here's the front. Here's the back. It is Initiate. If you guys aren't following Finally Churro, definitely head over to his channel. I'll have everybody's down there in the description alone so you can follow along and subscribe to the channels that I'm talking about. But essentially, Initiate is you as a person, as a builder, as a content creator. Everyone talks about things they want to actually do and Initiate is his brand to kind of say, yo, initiate your dreams, initiate what you're doing. That's what he's going for. So props to you, Finally Churro. Thanks for sending me out a shirt. I really appreciate that. With that said, I want to also throw out Last Stand. I've talked about them in the past. Definitely talk about some things today in the recap as well. But they came by the shop, dropped me off a sick shirt. Actually, two of them and some flight tags. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are local here, so I definitely support you guys. I think you're all headed to Race Wars pretty soon. So I'm hoping to get your cars together so everybody can actually go out there and have a good time. Thanks again for the shirts. I definitely wear them. Really appreciate you guys. All right, guys, with that said, let's go ahead and kick this off with Justin, 79th production, back there on the East Coast. It was really fun meeting you, man. I just got to throw that out again. A lot of people have talked about his headlights. They're a little oxidized and need some help. So with this latest video, boom, new headlights for the Civic, and they came out great. Quick install video. I think a lot of us know how to go ahead and do that, but you know what? It really brightened up the front of the car. Not too expensive, built on a budget. You know how it Justin does out there. So you know what? I'm really proud of you, man. Getting that car really dialed in. Headlights turned out great. Following that, we got Young Static. We got a new CRX on the channel. I'm super excited. You know what? I think this guy has three now. He picked up a single cam. He's going to throw it in there. But we talked about earlier that he found a really awesome GSR swap. He pulled it out all by himself right at the buzzer because the pick and pull was actually closing. Pulled that out, actually getting everything together. In the latest episode, he went and got a manifold for it. I think that motor is going to end up in the red CRX, his old daily driver. And then the single cam that he bought is going to go in the new black CRX that he has now. This guy's got three of them. He's the EF god. So, I mean, like, why, why wouldn't he have three? Needless to say, his channel's super growing. Hella proud of you, man. I'm really excited to see what the budget built crx turbo build will put down hopefully you hit tens i know his latest video 500 race car build where he actually broke down all the money he spent on the build didn't actually put how many hours he put into it so i'm wondering uh wondering how many hours if you calculated it by time obviously he put out a video every single day the video is only 10 or 15 minutes but it started in the daytime and ended at night so we can go ahead and do the math there let me know what you guys think, how many hours he actually spent there. And then maybe Dana, if you want to actually count them up. I don't know if you actually want to, bro, but I'm, I'm curious. But $500 race car build, it's doing really well. The video did very well. And you know what? I really hope DIY Mike checks the video out because I'd love to see you guys run it head to head. Following that, we got Auto Sauce, Jeremy and Ron out there in Colorado, vinyl wrapping the Civic. I've been seeing a lot of people vinyl wrapping their cars lately. I'm, um, well, them personally doing it. And it's really cool. You know, it's definitely something I've thought about doing. Really glad that you guys went ahead and did it. Kind of showed your process. You know what, guys? Having fun with it. Not worried about getting it crazy perfect, but just wanting to change the color of your car hanging out with your friends and making it happen. So props to you guys all out there at Auto Sauce. Colorado looks like a chill place for all you guys out there. Glad you're having fun. All right, next up, we got SP Tuning on their way to Honda Day. Well, they're trying to make it to Honda Day. Obviously, La is getting some definite upgrades, some new wiring, some new cool things for the car after the weight plate. I know the nitrous build is on its way, but I think out there, I think they're going to take a break from that and actually focus on the Integra because they want to get it dialed in and actually probably get it to the strip before they take it out to Honda Day. I know it's going to be a trek. You got some cool new things you're trying to get out there. So props to you, man. 
keep going on the projects and now you're not going to slow down and you know what you're going to have a blast out there at h day next up we got steven ocasio in the past couple days he's put out a couple videos one of them to kind of give you an update on what he's been doing thanking everybody for the support that he's got and the other one is actually he's got his civic ceramic coated and man i've seen the pictures on instagram and i've seen some from him personally the paint looks amazing i've been watching a lot of cars getting ceramic coated and it's amazing what the coating actually does for dust and water and everything else when it comes to detailing your car it's worth the money guys if you're not a type of person to constantly wash your car if you detail it very good once get it ceramic coated you can literally hit it with a water hose wipe it down and you're good it's just an awesome thing to do and if you haven't watched it definitely check out steven ocasio's latest video to actually look at the results for a ceramic coated car his car is actually freshly painted, so it's a little extra on top of that. But you know what? It still looks great. All right, as I talked about before, we got DIY Mike going after the cheapest Honda 10-second car, I think is what he was going for. But the Pink Widow is out there. I believe they're also in Vegas. They had some complications the last time they went. They're getting them fixed now. They cut a lot of metal out of that car to really lighten up the chassis. The Dosol isn't exactly the lightest chassis as it is, so they definitely wanted to cut out a little extra. Definitely check out their latest video. They're going to try to go for 10s again and see what they come up with. All right, back at it again. We got Deadbeat Garage kind of went on a little hiatus of making videos but they're back in one of the latest videos they have i think they have a new project a go-kart of some sort so definitely want to check that out i think a long time ago i think a long time ago bravis had his son on a separate channel actually building his go-kart learning to paint by himself he showed him how to use the gun and everything so Props to you guys having fun out there in Arizona. I look forward to more content. All right, in a car here on YouTube, you don't see all the time a TSX and the dudes out there at Budget Racing straight piped their TSX. And like I say, there's not too many TSXs getting built on YouTube right now. So it's really cool to have these guys out there with B20V hatches and a right-hand drive DC5 I talked about in the last video. It's really cool to see a TSX, just someone out there having fun with this chassis it's amazing for daily driving and I could only assume if you actually want to go out there and have fun and mod it, it's going to be an awesome platform. Definitely check out Budget Racing. They got a bunch of different cars and it's a cool group of guys. All right, back at it again. We got Wideband fully gutting the Volvo. If you haven't been following this channel, it used to be called Tyler's Garage a very long time ago and he had a Turbo Celica. As of lately, he got into Hondas. I was really happy about that and I knew instantly he would get stuck. So he ends up with a Volvo wagon and he's putting a B18 currently in the Volvo. It's, the motor is actually in the Volvo now. He gutted the entire wagon. So of course, out comes the boost. In his latest video, he actually gets you an eBay turbo and he's going ahead and he's going to show you what his plans are, why he picked that. And you know what? What the future of the Volvo. So I'm really excited to see a turbo b-series volvo wagon it's uh it's gonna be fun this is definitely an oddball swap but that's what he's about um he's got a couple other oddball swaps out there on his channel definitely check that out following that we got trey b dipping this guy as i said he's got a second gen prelude not many people are knocking these second gen preludes but you know what he is he got some awesome led tail lights for it it's looking great and a couple of videos back he actually has it on the dyno so it's definitely a good time to tune in see what he made there and just kind of follow along with his build next up we got myton films picking up another daily and it's pretty interesting to see an integra owner buying a daily but it's another integra which is cool but he did go over exactly why he picked it and a couple reasons are because it was an automatic he just wants to drive it he doesn't like a moonroof it is an rs so it obviously doesn't come with one but it's a California car. There's no rust because we don't, you know, we don't get rust out here. And he's on the East Coast and they got, you know, rust out there. So it only makes sense that it is a rust-free chassis and that's something that he wants. The wheel wells are great. He can daily drive it and it's an awesome chassis for the future if you ever want to do anything with. Props to you, man. I'm glad that you know what you have. Your other car, you're going to keep that safe and just daily a car that you're familiar with. Speaking of people out there on the East Coast, we got Irvin Dorsey dropping part two of the JDM front end swap. This is another guy, I think, hustling to make it out there to H-Day. It's really awesome to see the motor that you built getting it in the car, completely moving, and now you're working on the JDM front end swap. I'm super happy part two is out. Part one was a great video. I can't wait for you to finish this car. Following that, we got Hunter tuned this guy has moved from cars to motorcycles and i cannot be happier because this guy is rocking a hayabusa on the drag strip in the latest video he hung out with everybody he got michael michael's getting some slicks christian's getting his car ready for the drag strip as well and we got hunter messing with hayabusas 
I, I don't know, man. I'm starting to get worried because I know you love horsepower and speed and a Hayabusa is just dangerous, bro. I'm just telling you right now, I fear for you. But not really. I know you're out there. I know you're having fun. I know you're going to be safe. But man, you can push the limits and I'm super happy about that because I get to live through you. So props to you, man. Keep the videos coming. All right, guys, I'm going to kick this off with a couple channels I haven't really talked about and that is eBay Turbo. This guy has actually had a couple builds in the past. I believe he's got a G23 swapped Odyssey. Not 100%. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I think I've talked about this before. In his latest video, he's actually showing you what he's doing in a Vitara build, getting all the turbo things set up. I love these builds. They are just so well put together and they make an amazing amount of power for 1.5 liters single overhead cam. Can you imagine that? Close to 500 horsepower people are getting. It's insane. The Suzuki Vitara was not a car expected to make this kind of power, but you put those, you put those pistons in a Honda block and just... It's, an, it's insane. Super happy you're doing that. eBay Turbo's got some really cool videos in the past. Definitely check them out. Another channel I want to bring up is Gearheads Autofab. Haven't talked about this guy before, but I found his channel. Having fun. Great content. He's building a dual wastegate turbo RSX. I can't imagine how much power this thing is going to make, but you know what? You're making it happen. In the latest video, he actually got a new Sparco seat, so we definitely know there's some cool things going into the car. Trying to get the wastegates working properly as long as all the hoses that go in the engine bay of the RSX. The K-Series in general has a lot of vacuum lines, you know, to help everything going on, and especially if you're going turbo, even on any application. It's a really great channel to follow. Super happy I found you, man. That RSX is going to make an insane amount of power. So I'm definitely going to follow along and see what it makes. Following that, we got Biohazard 667 Productions. This guy has a brand new set of Steelys, but they're super wide. And he's showing you how he's going to paint them. You know, detailing them up, get them all set up to put on his car. I've always been a huge fan of Steelys. I have used to always rock them on my old cars. They just, I love the look, you know. It's super sleeper, but the design is just Awesome. I used to have some diamond racing wheels, zero offset because I was super rice. What can I say? But I love the look. I love what you're doing for the car, man. It's going to look amazing. And I like the fact that you're putting in all the effort, getting the engine going, and you actually have an awesome idea of how the finished product is going to look. Love your videos, man. I'm super happy that you upload it again. All right, guys. And last but not least, we got Team Last Stand. I think they're getting their cars ready for race work. They got a couple cars with the motors down, one of them with the spun bearing, another one with some head work getting done now. But you know what? It's always great when you have a group of friends hanging out in the garage and you all happen to live together. So you get to hang out. Out, have fun go out and wrench together so i hope to go out there and meet you guys out at the racetrack soon super happy that you're putting in work with the car right now i can't wait to see the numbers on all the cars that you guys got in the garage right now all right guys with that said that's it for this week of the honda recap just wanted to thank everybody for coming for yet again another week and for all you new people i hope you found some channels that you haven't watched yet go ahead and give them some support definitely click the link go to the channel give them a subscribe tell them honda vlog sent you thanks for showing up again like i said everybody's info is in the description below